Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Frida Swiss. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favored saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet about the Arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think he'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Contest? Keep off, Boyo. This is my coin. I shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Usa, and he'll point you through. I've heard the take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers into it. Usa's earned a fortune skimming the docks of London. Be gone. You reek of someplace else. I have a bow and a body ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you aren't some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A mutual friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? Hussa sent me. Your man in London, Mitch. Hussa did? Well, he's a keen one, all right. Has a good eye for soldiers. But do you align with our values? What think you of outlanders? I'm not fond of too many outlanders in one place. I never want to be in the minority. Exactly. They must not replace us. <laughs> Yao! You know exactly what we're about. Take this coin. It will give you entry at the Coliseum. Welcome to the Arrow's kinship. With luck, you will gain rank. <laughs>
around my mum's house. Pope like this. Thinking they can stink up the place. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows not! Fire! some time well shot you have earned your place at the arrow's side today he'll be eager to meet you pull yourself to the imperial arch and speak with our man Husa. recite the phrase may the father of understanding guide us and he'll know it's you the arrow is making his speech at the imperial arch on your way now Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends, brethren, good people of London, we have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friends, my leader, slaughtered like a... The enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits 
Let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, have got what we need now. And stronger soldiers. Today, I honor that wish. I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These elite archers will be stationed with our springers, ready to attack invaders by land or by water. And further, until these storms of accusations clear, I will take Trigger's place at the head of our fair city. Not that I could replace him, for Trigger was a pillar of steel. But I can try. Let me be your arrow. Let me point a true way forward. Some will be naysayers. Those who wish to discredit me. And those who wish to keep London weak. Listen not to them, friends. I serve only London. I serve you. London is a place of prosperity. Prosperity we must export to all of Britain's kingdoms. No more false kings with their lies. Heed the ancient ways. The true strength of London. Rule London. Rule Britain. Rule the world. Into order and truth. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse. You do the same if you were me. Aim and fire!
unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to dispatch. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down. Only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I do not want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broger. The good sister was murdered, and where were your guards? You hear me, okay? Her blood's on you. It's a ruse, I tell you. It's them that killed Trigil and shifted the blame. Then, then, his freak out for power. 